I'll show you how to create a 2D comic style character like Omni-Man into this 3D version. This will be done through two phases. Sculpting Omni-Man, which I'll show and explain the whole process of, and creating these sketch lines with my secret techniques, which will be explained in this video as a mini tutorial. Oh, and the character is from the show Invincible, if you didn't know. Anyways, let's get started. First, you need a good reference for your character, preferably for more than one angle. We need to study and understand the shapes of his face. Let's break him down as an example. We can see that he has a long face, a jaw that tapers down more than the average, sharp shapes, thick eyebrows, and of course, the most important part, the mustache. Uh, yeah, that's right now, trust me. This is what makes Omni-Man. You don't believe me? Fine, here, with a mustache. W w w w without a mustache. Ugh. Sorry if I ruined it for you, I had to prove a point. Alright, enough shenanigans, you know what time it is. Let's get sculpted. Starting with a sphere, I will start shaping his head, keeping in mind the shapes that we just broke down. We should keep things extremely simple in this blackout stage, focusing mostly on using the grab brush. Make sure to work all angles while sculpting. I'll carve his eye sockets and place it a little higher than the middle of the face to make the lower part of his head look longer than the average. I'll duplicate his head and place it on the side for his ears. Using the grab brush, I will shape it nicely and mirror it. Keep the ears between the eyebrows and the bottom of the nose for most heads. I'll duplicate his head, move it down, then start shaping his neck. A male's neck is usually wider than a female's neck. When it comes to superheroes, you can even exaggerate it a bit more. I'll carve this area to show his neck muscles and lightly form his Adam's apple. I'll add his nose with the draw brush, then I'll use the grab brush to form it. I'll start creasing the mouth, then make it more round with the grab brush. I'll add form around the mouth, carve underneath the lips, and clean up the chin. I'll continue carving around the nose to make it more prominent, then I'll work the form and carve the nostrils. I'll add a sphere, rotate it, scale it down, and place it in his eye sockets for his, you know, eyes. I'll add a mirror modifier, then with the draw brush, I will sculpt his upper eyelids followed by his lower ones. Masking can be useful here as the eyelids are quite close to each other and can be very difficult to control otherwise. I'll now add clay under the eyes for his cheekbone, reinforce the form of his bras, then I'll carve the side of the face to make the cheeks more visible as we can see in the reference with his face. I'll then model his eyebrows by extruding vertices over over his bras with the snap tool on, then I'll add a bunch of modifiers to mirror it and give it form. This and my sculpting workflow is explained in detail in my video, learn how to sculpt digitally, my workflow in under 10 minutes, which I highly recommend watching after this. I'll link it in the description of this video. Anyways, I will up the poly count by remeshing the sculpt, then go over and refine the forms that I already sculpted. Now it's time to add Omni-Man's real face, his mustache. I'll create a sphere and place it under his nose, then with a grab brush, I'll move it around the mouth and create the unique sharp shapes that we can see over here. I'll quickly go over sculpting and refining the ears a bit, then I will add a sphere for the base of his hair and move it with a grab brush around his cranium, then duplicate it to create the second part of his hair. Separate objects to make your life easier when sculpting. You can always merge them later if you wish. Don't forget, focus on the shapes of your reference and try to match it to a certain degree to get the likeness of your sculpt. I'll continue to sculpt his hair a bit and show some hair strands. The draw sharp or crease brush can be very helpful over here. I'll now duplicate his head, remesh it to lower the poly count, then use the grab brush to shape part of his torso. I'll keep the forms nice and simple. Pull in this part to show his chest, raise this area to show the clavicle, and move this forward to show the shoulders. Alright, time to add some color. Using the Sculpt Mode's paintbrush, I'll paint his head, ears, neck, his bodysuit using red and white color, then I'll paint his mustache, eyebrows, and hair. Nice. I'll paint his iris blue and keep it at that for now. I'll raise this part to cover his neck just like in the reference, then I'll remesh his torso to increase the vertices so that I can continue painting his costume with higher definition. I'll pull out some parts of his hair with the grab brush to create hair strands similar to these ones sticking out from the reference, then I'll refine his majestic mustache. I'll also go over the paint job to refine the edges. I will now switch to the material view, then I'll add a color attribute node to see the colors that I painted. I'll add a rim light to the back side here, turn it red, then duplicate it and place it right there. I'll add a key light, place it in front with an angle to cast shadows on the other side of the face, then I'll add a dim red fill light on the shadow side. Now with the first part done, it is time to teach you my secret techniques to add a 2D comic look to your sculpts. But before that... 
If you didn't know, I stream live on Twitch, and quite often actually. In fact, this whole sculpt was streamed live over there. On stream, I mostly sculpt, give art advice, and have fun with my community. You can find out my current streaming hours through the schedule tab. The hours will appear to you in your own time zone when you check it out yourself. In addition to that, I have a Discord channel for my community over there where we share our art, help each other out, show our pets, and more. You can also be notified when I go live through my announcements on Discord. Oh, and if you want to learn sculpting, a great way is through my courses and or through my Patreon. You will find all the links in the description of this video. Alright, let's start part 2. To make the sculpt have a 2D comic look, I'll use two techniques, grease pencil and this outline trick. Here's a quick tutorial on how to do this. Grease Pencil is fairly simple. To start, press on Shift A to add, then go to Grease Pencil and select Blank. Now press Ctrl Tab for the Pi menu, then click on the Draw Mode. Click or apply pressure in the scene and there you go! Simple as baking pie. You can also switch to this tool icon to click on the color attribute to control the color. Then choose whatever color you want. White for example for the highlights or black for sketch lines and shadows. To draw over your model's form, simply make sure you click on the stroke placement here and set it to surface then control the offset to determine how close the lines follow the form. A lower value will make it closer to the object that you are drawing on. Now let's see how to create this outline that follows the edge as we rotate. First I'll show you how, then I'll explain the technique. Imagine the sphere as being Omni-Man. I duplicated his head, body, and the rest, then in edit mode I used Alt S to scale the duplicates and make them a little bigger than Omni-Man. After that I created a new material for the duplicate, turned it black, increased the roughness to remove glossiness, checked back face culling, pressed on Shift N to recalculate normals in edit mode, then clicked on this inside option. And there you go, we have the outline. Let me explain how and why this works. I need to explain normals and the direction of the plane to understand this technique. You can skip ahead if you are not interested in this explanation. All right, here Here's a plane. If you go to edit mode then click up here, you can click on this to show the normals. Normals show the direction of the plane with this blue line. This is basically the front of the plane, and down here is the back of the plane. If we go to materials, scroll down to settings, we have the option to check back face culling. This will make it so that the back of the plane won't be visible in material view. This is without it checked, which is the default in Blender, and this is with it checked. You can flip the normals, in other words, the direction of the face, by going to edit mode, selecting everything, then pressing shift N on your keyboard, and then finally clicking on the inside option down here. As you can see, the normal is now the other way around, flipping the direction of the plane. Basically, if you have a sphere and back face culling checked, you can go to edit mode, select all by pressing A, press shift N to recalculate normals, then click and check the inside option to flip its planes. You will now be able to see the insides of the sphere instead of the outer planes. This is the technique I used to make the outline for Omni-Man. Okay, now that I explained how all of this is done, let's see everything in action. I'll use the grease pencil to draw the dark outline of his iris, the pupils, I'll sketch on Omni-Man, I, I mean his mustache, uh, then eyebrows, bras, nose, a bit all over the face, then his hair, here and there, his neck, and finally his superhero costume. This is more of an artistic choice, feel free to do it however you like. I'll sketch highlights on his eyes, draw some hair strands on his hair, then sketch him a background as a dark aura coming out of him. I'll do some adjustments to the lights, then I'll use the grease pencil to sketch some shadows. For shadows, simply add an opacity modifier to your grease pencil, then reduce the opacity factor to 0.5. This will make it a bit transparent. I'll sketch shadows around the eyes, under the nose, lips, by the cheeks, on the side of the neck, on his face. Then a little bit all over to create more depth. Nice. All that is left is turning on the lights and damn, look at that mustache. There you go. Omni-Man in all of his badness, mustache gloriness, the mustache man in a stylistic 2D comic like 3D form, the ultimate mustache sculpt. Remember, this is how it started, this is how it went, and this is how it ended. Trust the process. And don't forget, you are beautiful.